So I was just checking out um, Facebook and I seen that the 49ers have finally made the trade. It's been speculated for weeks now that they will either trade and get either Emmanuel Sanders from the Denver Broncos or they will go after A.J. Green from the Cincinnati Bengals. Well, I just seen that they did get Emmanuel Sanders from the Denver Broncos. The 49ers will get Emmanuel Sanders and a fifth round pick from the Denver Broncos. The 49ers will give up their third round pick and fourth round pick of next year. The fifth round pick that they get from the Broncos will be for next year as well. I don't like the trade. I really don't. Um, be completely honest with you. You know, uh, not just because Emmanuel Sanders is coming off of uh, uh, an Achilles injury from last year. And you know how I feel about Achilles injuries that, uh, yeah, they're horrible to come back from. But it's not just because of the injury. It's because of the third round pick. You find a lot of sweet, good draft picks third and fourth round for a very cheap price. And um, I feel like that I wouldn't have did the trade. Like, I just would have been like, forget it, you know. Let's just keep going with, with going with what we got and keep pushing. Bring somebody from off the practice squad at receiver or something to that nature. Um, if we wanted to, you know, uh, bring in more receivers. Um, we, I'm saying we, I'm a 49ers fan. 49ers. The 49ers. Um, you like the 49ers too, huh? The 49ers. We'll get um, seemingly a decent fifth round pick because Denver's not playing so good this year that they only won one game so far. Um, and our third and fourth round pick seemingly will be um, will be low. So if the season goes how it's going, I don't know the details of the particular trade as far as like um, are we giving up our the 49ers giving up their fifth round, I mean, fourth and third and fourth round pick, or is it a pick that we got from somebody else? I don't know the details of it, but I definitely probably still wouldn't do the trade. I feel like we good with what we got. Um, we're good enough to make it to the playoffs at least. And to try to get to the Super Bowl, they're trying to probably bring in Emmanuel Samuel, I mean, Emmanuel Sanders to kind of get us over the hump. But honestly, it's not our receivers. I'm still very critical of Jimmy Garoppolo and his passing skills. And so, I mean, having Emmanuel, Emmanuel Sanders is definitely an upgrade from what we got. Even him with a bad, with one bad leg. Um, but if Jimmy G can't really get him the ball, then it's all for nothing. And from what I've seen from Jimmy G thus far, you know, some people are praising him, but I'm like, no. He's throwing balls. He's getting bailed out of situations. Like, he threw a couple ball. Well, all this year I've been watching him. And a lot of these passes, they're high. And they're not, they're not high on purpose. They're high because he's just getting them out inaccurate. And these receivers have to go up, especially um, George Kittle when he's going across the middle. And he has to go up here and make these crazy catches um, a lot of times. And then also a lot of his th throws are low. And these receivers that have to go way down in the dirt to get these passes. And not, a lot of that time, a lot of times it's not on purpose. It's just how the ball comes out. You want me to stop talking about Jimmy G? You don't like Jimmy G either, huh? Um, so I don't know, you know, having... Uh, ES, Emmanuel Sanders, is going to really help Jimmy G. I don't believe it will. I do think, though, however, it could help with the short game more because we like to do a lot of um, re receiver screen passes, a lot of short passes. And Jimmy G has, I mean, not Jimmy G, um, Emmanuel Sanders has the speed to get elusive, but he's not as quick as he used to be. Mary, what's going on? He's not as quick as he used to be. And so I was just like, I don't see it. 
Like it's it, not that I don't. It's not worth it. That's all I'm saying. It's just not worth it. 